Swadika Tutukun. Before we begin our 33rd episode, we have more sponsors. Nope, it's not from my book this time, although here is the Q&R code once again, and a link to my book once again as well. This time, it's from our 18th guest of Pimp Standby and Pimp Protein. So here is the Q&R code, the link for the app called Line, the website that shares multiple language, and the call center phone number of 091-255-4474 for more information. Speaking of information, let's talk more about our guest after this theme song that is starting right now. Talking Farm with Edo Podcast. Hello everyone, it's Podcast Edo here with the 33rd episode special with our 18th guest, Nikki Pimps and Howard. Here is the warning sound. Before we begin this a disclaimer, this has been one of the most intense interviews I've had, but I really had a great time too. For our 10th warning episode, we do not promote violent, drug, and hate of any kind, so let's start off with the interview. Hello everyone, it's Edo Ford back at it again, podcast Edo with another episode of Talking Fun with Edo with our 18th guest, Nikki, and also Howard. So yeah, you? we yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I go by Nikki Pims in Thailand Nikki anyway. Pimps, just, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Nikki Pims. No, it's okay. Nikki is good, yeah. Okay. So yeah. we're gonna first And I go by the name of H Dove. Right. A C H D U B. You can follow me on IG. <laughs> no, I'm just joking, bro. How's everybody doing? We're doing hey, good. What do you mean? Yeah, I'm good. What man. the O G? Yeah. What's up, Holly? Oh, yeah. What's up, man? What's up, guys? Yeah. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm 45 okay. now, man. Right, right. Um, happy late birthday, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm turning 45 this January. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Soon, 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 soon. Like in a few yeah. months. Right. Yeah. Speaking of birthdays, um, so January the 21st, when you were born, I was wondering if you were. Like born in Thailand or you were born in America first? Okay, well, uh, I was born in Thailand. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about my, my background. All right. My dad, my dad is from Scotland. My family dad side is from Scotland. So uh, our original last name was Ekin. Yeah, my grandpa, my grandpa, uh, he was an engineer uh, for this British company. So um, he had to move down to Thailand back in the day to to be standby here for like the engineer work for the tobacco company in Thailand for the mm. government. So yeah. that's when, um, that's when my dad, uh, he was born in Thai and you know, he have brothers and stuff like that. So yeah. they grew up in international school and they probably met my mom. My mom is Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Mm. Yeah. Actually I'm a Thai <laughs> resident because my mom and their dad is a Thai resident also like a citizen, but yeah. actually our blood is, I'm, I'm half Scotland and I'm half Hong Kong, man. Wow! Like, but uh, yeah, but um, I was just born in Thai, so super our mix. whole family generation uh, is like a citizen. <laughs> we yeah. a super mix, right? Yeah. Right? Oh so my I'm mixed, God. I'm mixed, I'm mixed. So, anyways, I was born in Thai, and then um, I didn't know anything about English, man. And you know, I grew up in a uh, how you say, like a private school kind of thing because like my that. mom. Yeah. Yeah, because my mom and my dad they divorced, you know, ever since I was like a baby, you know. Hmm. And then I have to be in a Catholic school, you know, like like mixed with the orphanage school. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, so after that, you know, I I haven't seen my mom until I was nine, you know, until hmm. I was nine. I had an older brother. He's a year older than me. And uh, we all move around, like, you know, all the orphanage school all around Thailand, like, you know, in different province. Yeah. So once I turned nine, my mom um, just decided to come back and pick me up. That's when we got a green card. We had gotcha. a green card back in the day, you know, a resident card. And then um, we, right after that, we fly to, um, I have to get out of the school and I directly fly to America. And when we moved to um, California, we were staying in a city called Upland, um, Upland. San Bernardino County. Yeah. Yeah. So 
so that time, you know, Upland was okay, That's but crazy. um, but yeah. um, my mom she was working in Thai uh restaurant that time. You know, she saved up some money and we opened a restaurant called Thai Barbecue. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, but anyways, that time it was, it was not as much Thai as now. You know, this yeah. this is like thirty something ish years ago. That's that's when like Tupac still like. <laughs> still alive man right this is yeah. like, it was 89 90s you know and then um the start of it yeah well anyways um Crazy. right after that i i went to school you know in a uh, upland starting from elementary to yeah. go up whatever but um but you know i i learned my my english right as i lived there you know and in my town we didn't have any time and i didn't make any time until i was like shit turning like 15 you know yeah. so i went there since nine all the that time was still people bullying about your race and everything it's still yeah. it was it's way worse than this you know and then um and then um once my mom had a restaurant for like uh, a year or two yeah and then um i think it went out of business because she didn't know how to handle the document you know wow. the she just know how to cook but that time you know you didn't do all this um document right. stuff you know american yeah. shit so once she couldn't handle that and then um the business broke down right. and that's when we had to move down to the ghetto part see mm. because when i moved up there it was uh the life is okay for a year or two and then once we had to move down to this place called 13th street 13th. that's when uh, that's when everything we had to rent down the apartment that's when i turned my life into like gang life you know because um yeah. I start to meet like all these Vietnamese people, like the gang, because yeah. my mom had to buy like stuff from groceries from the ninety nine market, right. and we have to we have to go to the town yes. of Pomona. That's like the worst criminal town ever, you know. Mm -hmm. We go there mm -hmm. to get stuff. That time, that time I still remember the game Street Fighter Two just came out, mm -hmm. you know. Oh and yeah, that's for when sure. I, that's that's back in the day. That's when I got hit up by the Vietnamese gang, right? And then after that was like. Once I met them and then we met them again, that's when I got uh, negotiating to the gang. And then I started my gang life since I was like 13, man. Wow. I got jumped in the gang. Like just real like, gang, mo gang movie right there. Like a, right? a lot of yeah, crazy. Yeah, real movie right there. Oh my God. Yeah, uh, a lot of crazy stuff. You know, I did in trouble. I got a, uh, I got a probation. I got my own like personal pro officer. I was like doing a GTA, all that crazy stuff. <laughs> everything you know until uh, yeah. i got locked up I, I just i'll just fast forward make it quick until i got locked up i was 16 17 because i was like about to attempt a drive-by in um i think it was like uh Both teenage. Uh, in, in, Both teenage. in in the in the uh, i don't know it's in uh, little saigon little saigon is a saigon. town um in, in yeah you know it's in um uh, Pasadena, uh not uh, orange, county. orange county orange county orange yep. county yeah. Yeah, OC, right? That's that's yeah, where that's OC. where the little side gone at, and I mixed up with the Asian gang. So yeah, once I I I I didn't attempt yet, you know, but um, uh, the police, the Asian task force, they caught us, you know, it was like three yeah. cars. Once they caught us, they arrested us, you know. In our car, we had like four people, and then um, we got a gun, you know, we got a three fifty seven, yeah. we got the bullet and everything. So I was sitting in the back, you know, like um, so I gotta take a charge for the the gun. The gun has already been used too, you know, before. So after that, I just right, got right. through in jail because since I got the probation, I got locked up in Orange County for like uh, it got serious all together, well, yeah. you know, for like um, almost a year. Uh, right after I got in Orange County, uh, they deported me back to San Bernardino County. I was doing my time there, and that's when um that time before I get caught, I was supposed to uh fly back to Thailand because my mom was like couldn't handle my my gang right. life, and I was doing. Yeah. I was doing dirt, I was doing crazy stuff, and then um, and once I got uh, deported back, that's when you know, like, we were, uh, luckily my my family in Thailand is rich, you know, because um, <laughs> my mom, yeah, my mom have lots of sister, you know, and yeah, you know, yeah. back in the day, like, the old generation, they got a lot of kids, you know, so um, so a lot of my aunts and stuff, they own like factory and stuff like that, so right, um, right. I got put in a good school, like uh, you know, like a private private-ish kind of type school this, this was and, back in know, thailand yeah, yeah so when when i when i moved back here and then um you know we had a extra house here that uh nobody lived in you know because my mm. mom before she was mm. living in america for like 30 something year and then she had a house that's this close so um they they put me in this house you know by myself you know and then um and then that's when i start to get buck wow in thailand you know making money 
for mm-hmm. modeling and stuff. And that time, woo, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, man, the drug life was crazy. You know, the, the party life and everything. So yeah. I got into the the party life, got into the 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 showbiz. That's 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 how my the life showbiz. started. You know, the showbiz. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, man. Right. On, and that's on, how, that's how, that's when I w- uh, met Pinicky. Yeah, I was uh, really getting to that. He yeah. was the, a guest for uh, for uh, the music video, uh, Lord Lord Puat, right? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. And Pinicky was like, "Yo, man, pro- uh, you guys gotta, you guys gotta hustle up, you know? Like, we gotta fin- finish this shoot, you know? We gotta. It's late, getting late, you know. But I'm gonna take you guys to party. If you guys promise me oh, to finish God. the shoot quickly. <laughs> it's what? the last scene." I- it's the last scene, and then he's like, "Yo, I'm gonna take you guys to smoke some weed, or uh, yeah, <laughs> to the to the party yeah. if you guys finish fast." <laughs> I'm like, all right, all right, we're gonna finish. We're no gonna, way. Gonna concentrate. We're gonna concentrate on this scene. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you guys. Yeah, I was, it was fun. It was fun. A uh, few days of shooting. Uh, we had uh, with real crabs that was yeah. biting us, and then. Uh, you, you guys colored it green. <laughs> Pattaya was uh was was beautiful. The, yeah. Right. So speaking of which, um, I think the those questions been answered. So the thing before we, I guess, get into your first album as Nikki per se. Yeah. Is um. Yeah. Yeah. Nikki, yeah. yeah before before the pimps. Is, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So. Nikki, yeah. I was wondering, like, how did um you become like a musical and an acting star? Like how, how did that even happen? Man, to be honest, I don't have any like um personal or talent skill, nothing like that. Right. I'm telling you, man, my life is all up to God, man. You know, going like, with the um, flow. Right. He, 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 God, you know, for me, for me, my the money God brings you. Yeah. The fame God brings you. Yeah. The universe yeah, brings my, you. So yeah, I believe my, that's so. Hmm. So on that note, yeah. so one of I believe one of your first movies that you acted, it was called Supapon, which in yeah. in translation we call it Bulletin. And yeah. I was no, that, that, like, that's, that's one that's one before that, Edo. But I'm telling you, man, like Oh, there was a movie yeah, you did before you know, that? I, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. Yeah, yeah, that's one called Lapla. It's about the uh, small oh, miniature, okay. like, people. It's like the kids. Oh, that, movie, that know? one. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I know, was the, the island that, of that, people. I, yeah, I, I was 17, but let me tell yeah. you something about my life, man. But, right. you know, for me, I never expected to be in an entertainment business, and I'm not those kind of guy who's wanting to be in entertainment business. You know, right. I'm like the back of the classroom kid. You know, yeah. yeah I I told I told, you know my life is like uh not to be in front of camera. You know, I, I live in a gang life. That's that's right. what I do, right? Right. But you know, when I come down, the to money China, was gotta, good. <laughs> you know, but you know, when I when I came back to Thailand, I got to convert. You know what I'm saying, right? It's like yeah, because right. because it's like coming from America to Thailand back in like 30 years ago. That right. shit was like it's like a, it's like you're sitting in a time machine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because in America, it's so much already developed. You know, already yeah. happening. And then it's like you coming to the same. You you taking a yeah. plane twenty two hours back? back, back. <laughs> yeah, and, and 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 I I never make a trip back back into America for uh, to Thailand for like almost like ten years, you know. And that's like my right. first time. So mm. when I moved back here, I was like, "What the fuck?" You know, I I, I thought I live in a in a boonie or something. You know what I'm saying? That shit was like, <laughs> that, shit, that shit was worse than that's fucking insane. suburb back in the day. You know what I'm talking about? Wow. You feel me? People, yeah. people didn't know. People, people don't know what's up with gangster. They don't know what's up with baggy pants. They don't oh, even know man. what the fuck is a boxer. You know what I'm talking about? So they do. Yeah, man, they yeah, I remember. I, I remember. Oh, Nicky got all like the cortex, and then I was like, "Yo, I was yeah. rocking Vans," and he was like, yeah, "Yo, yeah, man, well, you got to rock the Nike Cortez." I was like, "Yeah, what's so, that, bro? yeah." What, so, what was that? And, P- and then Pinick was teaching me, like, "Yo, man, I this." He had all the cool stuff on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Back yeah. In the day. So, so he was so, my so idol, when, bro. Yeah. So yeah. so when I came back, so <laughs> when I moved back here, it was like, you know, I mean, all human beings, you got to go with the flow. That's how yeah. it is. You know what I'm talking about. So, right. you know, I went to do some casting because my neighbor was the 
we own a modeling company. It, it's just a yeah, coincidence, yeah. you know? Yeah. I, like I told you before, I told you before just now, I had to move back to this one house that was already closed down. Right. So right. it's like two door away. He, they, they own, they're like a new company. They own the modeling agency. Right. So they asked me to take some picture. I, I went to take some picture. I didn't even know what the fuck. I just want to do my year. You know, once I finish one year, I want to go back to America. Right. But, but the picture that I have took, it lead me to a, a casting and then I got a commercial, right? And I got right. money. Yeah. And then I was like, fuck, man, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm just going to party here until I go back. And right. then, you know, I, the world keep coming. You know, when you don't give a fuck about something, they just keep coming. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, you know I'm not, tr- I'm not even trying, bro, to be honest. I'm just like, whatever. Yeah. And then the world keep coming and it's just like, get caught up. And right. um, when I go to the set, they're putting on lipstick back in the day. They're putting on hardcore makeup. They're doing my hair like a fucking yeah. crazy, like a like you know. That time right. I'm like, man, whatever, man. Yeah. Nobody's gonna know me over here. The music know? video so, shoot, the right. commercials, yeah, the photo shoots. Oh. Wow. Yeah, it's... yeah. So, so, so I let it go with the flow, and then, um, yeah. and then uh, right at the bling of the eye. This has been like 28 years. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And I'm still on it. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. I'm still. Yeah, on I remember it. I was 14. And then yeah. uh Nikki was yeah. like twenty one or nineteen. No, no, no. when like you fourteen, I'm probably like nineteen, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. He was teaching uh, me all the good stuff. I'm yeah, but um, why why do I why do I like Howard personally? Because you know, like um what I see in him is like I see like a little me, you know, a little me and like uh wow. Because that time, that time uh, when I met him, you know, at RS Promotion, I was already in the business for like five years already, you know. And yeah, like yeah. a group of people, like, you know, a teenage, they already know me. It's like, I consider right, a pop right. star. Right? Yeah. Making money, got a good car and everything. And when I saw this kid, you know, it's like uh, with this other two kid, Thomas, and, and this other kid, uh, and what's Joe, his name again? Yeah, yeah Joe. 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 And, and, and I'm like, yo, you know, I like Howard because, I mean, first of all, he speaks English, you know, and then... um. It was just like it. He, you know, I get that cool vibe with him, you know. And it's like, and that time it's like he, in 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 my in my eye, I think like he kind of needed somebody to guide him. Right. Like, um, you know, he he, mm-hmm. I, I didn't, you know, he he had a mom, but he didn't have a dad, right? And then he lived in Thailand, just like a, you know, like an expat, right? But I, yeah. you know, like a kid. So I'm just thinking, like, man, this kid need a guide, you know. And then um, but. In my in my in my time that time I wasn't I put a point that I'm gonna guide him like an adult the perfect guy like, 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 like a big brother like a big brother like a big brother yeah yeah like a big brother because I already have a crew in, in yeah. Thailand like a crew because I you know remember, everybody I like, yo baby now I, I want to get my first tattoo he's like yo man don't get don't get no tattoos bro yeah <laughs> because, because you know you know like back but then he day, getting himself all tatted up <laughs> yeah. Back back in the day when you mm-hmm. you know when you're a kid from America and you have yeah. to fly back no matter what when you get deported you know it's like you automatically know those people because you can tell by their swag you know what I'm talking about yeah. and then yeah. and then once they speak English you know it's different kind of English it's not like a British English you know oh, so yeah, when yeah. somebody yeah so t- when somebody talk slang to you you know okay he's from America we're yeah. gonna hang out with him that's that's yeah. when I get my crew. That's yeah. where all my crew came from in, in Thai, you know? Mm. Yeah. Mm. And then and then I felt like, okay, Howard, he... The American he, boys. He, oh, not the American boy. I just He's just like a one of us, you know? He, I, I just feel this, like the vibe that, okay... We need to... Yeah, we have like this too, you know, in Taiwan, like ABCs. They say American-born yeah. Chinese, American... Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, so... No, no, no. Yeah, yeah well, right. whatever. So, anyways, I was like, mm-hmm. okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick back with this kid, and then you know, I, his mom was cool. His mom was like, yeah, take care of my son, uh-huh. and then you know, we had a good time, and I have a house to myself, you know, with all my, my boys living around me. So I'm just like, I, I pull Howard in. I think I, I, I think I introduced <laughs> him to the first marijuana. You know, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I introduced him to a lot of crazy shit. And then after but, that, but we went to a club, club and I was like, yo, there's yeah. people like making out at the side. I was like, what the hell are they yeah. doing? We, we like, had a good guy time. And girl kissing. Yeah. Like, oh my. You know, I was like a young kid and never yeah. like went out to oh bars God. or clubs <laughs> or whatsoever. 
But Ido, yeah, I think, I think, man, I, turned, you know, I, I think, yeah. I think I regret. I think I turned this guy into a monster, <laughs> man. I think I turned no, this guy man. into a monster. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But you know, it's not uh, always, always. You know, it's always up to yourself at the end of the day because you right. do experience your own. You know, uh, you you experience it yourself, mm. and you learn from your mistakes and. You know, yeah. you have to experience experience it for yourself. Then I've heard you have a question for me, so I'm wondering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I just want to know, like, you know, like, um, with all respect, I mean, why do you, why, I mean, how do you get into like Thai entertainment, like, um, stuff? Like, I mean, why, what, why, what, what do you see in in, in Thai, um, entertainment business? I mean, why do you follow? Why do you like? Yeah. How how do you get into all this? It's kind of you know it's 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 kind of hard. You try, it's just like knowing it's from different, somebody from I the know, West. Yeah. Like, yeah, you try to yeah. learn the Thai words to understand the songs, or you just like you just practice the the sound of it and try to sing along. Because yeah. I see you you know a few songs also, right? So, right. I guess it was yeah. just like the how I really got into it. Like it's I'm um because it was like last time when we were talking, it was most likely like just. When I saw Raptor, it just made me be like, I need to know more. Mm-hmm. And then when I saw Giant right From around Johnny the time and, and Annan, it was just something where it's like, I think I can get down with this. And it's just like, I think when I listen to the song and stuff like that, I just like kind of copy it like a parrot and just be like, okay, okay, I could. And even like there's times where I'm translating the song and be like, okay, I believe this is what they meant. Like sometimes I've been to translating sites, but more likely even from the first time, I wasn't really looking for it for translation. It just like everything looked cool and it was just like I got to know more about it. it just felt it just like when I saw this, especially you know, Howard and stuff, it's just like, yo, they look awesome. They just look so cool. And it's just like the way like the videos is set and stuff and thank you. You're very, very <laughs> welcome. Just the way that it all looked, even from um your perspective, Nikki, of uh there's only one song I knew, and it's from the first album that we're about to get into. Um, mm-hmm. it went a little like this. Like I'm gonna sing it for you, it'll go like this. Yeah. Every time I see you, I love oh, you okay. more and more and more. All right, okay. Every time yeah. I, uh-huh. I, uh, that's song. Yeah, yeah. That was we all friends that afterwards, you know, we right. got, we got yeah. to know each other because uh, a lot of jobs and events and concerts and performance. We have, I have a question for Nikki, but, uh, okay, okay. you know, because since we're talking about this, like, how come um, yeah. you didn't join the RS family? They're having recent, like, a comeback. Oh, thing. because. Oh, the reunions. Yeah. The reunions. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, oh, yeah, you know, you don't. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I tell you that. Because you know, mm-hmm. I I I think the company and me we had a bad, you know, bad vibe, you know, because because you, some people, a lot of people, you know, I'm a I was a menace, bro, you know, like I told you, you know, I'm right. I right. didn't I didn't right. give a fuck about the entertainment business, you know. I just I'm just here for the money, mm-hmm. you know. What I'm talking about mm-hmm. I'm not here for the light. So right. what happened is like um the first album came out. And then the owner of RS, they want me to do a set. Uh, they want me to do a like a lot of series, like you know, series. Uh, I I I just want to do my uh, like movie album. drama, like dr- movie drama. Yeah, 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 yeah. The series, yeah, the series. Uh, so right. anyway, now I did it called CD, right? But anyways, so right. um, I was supposed to do an album, the second one. But right, I right. want to. I, I want. I want. I want my album to be more of the real hip hop, you know, because yeah, because I grew up. Yeah. I go up in the west, and then what I do is I, I I'm real hip hop. I don't do that pop shit, you know. Yeah. And then, and then, yeah, they, was, you know, what I'm saying? had the same they, mentality they, too. They, 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 try, they try, you know, they try to impersonate me into like a Thai Justin Bieber back in the day, and I'm just like, oh my god, I I can't get with that corny shit, you know what I'm talking about? So, anyways, what happened is that. <laughs> So what happened is that I'm just I'm here for the money. And then the guy was like, yeah, the owner was like, hey, you know, I'm going to give you some kind of like a like a series. Like, you know, like and I was like, yo, I want to do my hip hop. The second album, I want to show Thailand what's up. You know, that's 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 where I'm from. 
Right. And then, uh, yeah. and he was like, no, no, you know what? Same we are thing, waiting. Yeah, huh? The owner is like, yeah. Like, yeah, huh? he, he's like, and, hey, come and, on. He, he's like, he's like, your rating <laughs> went up, and then, um, and then he's like, let's let's just do the series, you know. And then I was like, and he he wanted, uh, and, and and we had we had another team coming to yeah. do my music. They want to turn me to a rock. I'm like, motherfucker, man, you are gonna fuck and me? And I can't add him up to yeah, it you know, yeah, a rock. You know, for me, for me, even though I'm not a fucking, I wasn't born like an artist, like. But I'm real, right. you know what I'm talking about? You can't change me into a motherfucking one day, like a po like a like a pop one day like, rock. Like a pop. And I'm oh, why not seven. Rock? I'm why yeah, not seven the other day. Yeah. Why not seven? So, that's that's so, also one so. of the main reasons also I didn't sign uh continue signing right, right. That was uh, yeah. also they and wanted was, to make it. Right. To, and I was uh thinking from that time, I was thinking if you guys did, I think it would have been like more heavier than the second album. Like you guys would have been in uh, bigger topics oh. and like you know like wow we're gonna talk about like stuff that's going on in the world you know and just like going all out for the third album that's what i would believe and then yeah, at the same so, time i have a feeling that it's like damn it they're gonna make you do the stuff at the first album again yeah, yeah. so so once <laughs> once you know so once that yeah. didn't happen right i had my i had my like contract for like a two year something left yeah and yeah. then and he was so mad because you know, I was making money from the company, and he right. he wa- he wanted to give me something that he think was good for me. You know, but yeah. in my time, it was like I I didn't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to look all corny and have money. You know, what I'm talking right. about right. Yeah, so, that's not you though. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. So, anyways, what what happened is he's like, you know what? If you don't take my offer, I'm just gonna post you for two years without any income and any job. And you know any 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 actor would would be like okay, I'm, I'm my bad. I'll, I'll just take it, you know. But for me, I'm, I'm different breed, you know. I'm less like fuck you, then you know. What I don't care, about? right? <laughs> yeah, I don't care, you know. I, I just came out with a Sorry. like a like like a something like a supercar that time, you know. Right. That time, and then I was spending a lot of money. I'm like fuck, man. I'm gonna be paused for two years. How how I'm gonna pay for all this shit? But I was like, but, but but I was like, but I was like, fuck it. You know what? I'm right. just gonna, I'm just, I'm just gonna fucking hit the gym, change my body a little bit. When money ran out, I'm going back to America to get into the gang life. You know what I'm saying? Fucking shit. So, so what happened was like once, once I, once I fucking um. Once I did the workout, right, for like a year yeah. or something, time just went by so flat. The company is sending people to call me, to, you know, to like trying to get me back, you know. And at that time, I, I, I already made my mind, you know. I was like, I'm the kind yeah. of guy. I'm, I'm the kind of guy that's like, man, whatever, you know. I Let let God lead this, you know. So I'm just right, like. Right. And once to a year and something go by almost two years, I have muscle, dude, bro, from a yeah. skinny kid to it. You know, right. just working out, hitting the gym for almost two years, just everything passed by. Mm-hmm. I got muscle at that time. I was like, "Fuck!" And then I, I met this guy. He's like a some some gay guy, right? But he he managed for a lot of a lot of stuff. He's like, "Hey, you know what? Before right. you go back to America, let's make some money." And I was like, "How?" He go, "Let's go do some nude photo, like you know, some 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 <laughs> like a special magazine, and then you can wear like a fucking sexy underwear shit." And then you know I'll pay you like this amount of money, and even mm-hmm. give you percentage, giving you percentage for the for the for the magazine. So I was like, "Fuck yeah, let's do it, man!" You know, before I go back to America, I need some cash because when I go back to America, I, I need to buy some kind of fucking car or something. You know? that dope. So, better oh, give me that. Well, so, so I did. I did like a three day. I did a three day photo shooting. You know, I, I'm like, "What the fuck? You give me where? They put me, give me some crazy ass G string." And that time, <laughs> that time, you know, that time it was the ninety something. It was already hardcore. I, 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 like I, later there, on, you know? I did a photo shoot with Piniki so, too. We, so, we did a rock so, photo shoot. Yeah. Ah. Okay. So, 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 so with anyways, some sexy lady. <laughs> yeah. So, so anyways, right. I, I, I came out with the magazine, right? Right. I was like, man, this shit is gonna fuck me up, but it's okay. Nobody gonna know. I'm, I'm, I'm a ninja. I'm going back to America. Nobody gonna right. know. Right. Nobody will know. Right. Right. Like nobody will know. Back then, there's no social media. Exactly. So, yeah. The, the ma- the magazine came out right. fucking right on on that day, right? Two hours is sold for thirty thousand copies. 
I was like, shit, you know, that <laughs> time. Were you gone at that pen- point? No, the money oh. that I got, the attention and all the, the, the percentage. That time, in the day, I, thought, I, I I was a millionaire in the day, yo. I was like, mm. boom. What, I, wow. Once I got the money, I'm I like, didn't know, I didn't this. know you had that much money back then, bro. Wow. I always oh, have so money, bro. I would have been like, I always, that be <laughs> I always have money, bro. Yeah. I always have money. But anyways, oh, God, that dude, time sure. when I... When I when I got the when I got the 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 cash and then um people yeah. was just like yes, I was sir. on the news right yes, sir. I was on the news so people were just like contacting me for like the uh, movies you know like back yeah, in the day yeah. it was like uh, you know something that Netflix do now yeah that's well, that's the, those kind of movie kind of like not fully like fully budget but it's still okay a so little bit the, different like because like in yeah, here but, in in the U S we have like all like the movies that's like been well budgeted but to be yeah. in the u.s to be they got the movies that's like yo yeah. switch the cameras man yeah it's badly shot badly yeah shot, oh, yeah they have yeah. good teams though <laughs> yeah hold on so one anyway second. so i got i got all so after that i got into the business in Thailand, we call it VCD because back in the day there's a VCD machine right oh, and then yeah. a DVD machine oh the eight so, yeah yeah, the player, you know, right after the yeah. video. Yeah. So I came out with lots of movie. Yeah. I, I I produced a lot of movie. That's when I got, you know, and I, that's when I turned my back on like the the RS. I like whatever, right, you know. Right. And that's that. Of okay, course. So back to how with question he was saying like why did I go back to the concert? This is just a small part of my life. That's why. The owner and me, we, we had sour, you know, we have yeah. a sour time, right? So yeah. I don't think he wanted to like calling me back because you know i was the stand-up guy i didn't give a fuck you know right and after that and after that like like i think it was like uh almost a century after that like, almost like five years six years seven yeah. years something like that yeah i went to grammy i did an album yeah. with grammy so it was yep. like their rival you know you know mm. and i did my underground sound everything yeah. and then Two of them. until the until no, actually it was three. You know, I had the, I had the, I had the underground shit too. You know, for like the hip hop community. Right. So, right. anyways, I think until nowadays, you know, I, I don't, I'm turning into entrepreneur. You know, I don't really give a yeah. fuck. I'm just like whatever, bro. You know. So that's why I, I can totally understand if like the adult, the, the, the you know, like the owner, whatever, if, if they can't What's control the somebody, you know, they just mm-hmm. feel like okay. Then I'm not gonna I give lost. you any cake. I, I'm not gonna give you any cake because I can't control you. But for Aww. me, it was just like, for me, it was just like, okay, then here's a, you know, you know, yeah, yeah. you know, well, I, I, you know, I mean, why do you think in the perspective that if you don't have me, you don't get that extra money too? You know, what I'm talking right. about. It's like, yeah. come on, man, I'm a slave, man. You know, but exactly. back in the day, yeah, no, shut up, big back in the day, back in the day, I don't know. <laughs> it was just like, what? Yeah, and we ain't having it. So either you sell yeah. your soul or you don't. Right, <laughs> we're gonna kind of like backtrack just a little, just a little, because I think we kind of like got a good understanding of what like questions here. So, um. <laughs> So I was wondering, like, when, like, you released the first album, like, as, like, Nikki. I was wondering, like, where did the name Nikki came from? Okay, well, first of all, my original name, right? Since I was born, my nickname. Thai people they have, uh, they have a real name, nickname, yeah. and surname. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. But yeah. I was ever since I was young already. You know, before I was in the Thai community. I never go by my first name. My first name is Sura. S U R A. Yeah, Sura. But it's never been used because it sounds like alcohol. It's like Sura. So people Ooh. were just making fun of that yeah. front yeah. name. So I, I, yeah. I, but you know, as a kid, I always had kind of like, uh, like a mixed kind of face kid. So people just call by my my nickname, which is Nick N I C K. You know, Nick. Yeah. Right. Right. So. It was never Nikki. You know, Nikki sound gay, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? Nikki's with but to be honest, to be honest, you know, so so it was just Nick, you know, when when I went to 
when, yeah, when I went to America, I was just Nick, you know, I was just Nick. Just Nick, exactly. Yeah. And when I when I was when I was a gangster, I was just always Nick, you know. But uh, but when I came back to to Thailand, I have to, you know, like how you say, like, why? I well, of course they have, you know, you know, being a singer in Thailand back in the days, you're not a real artist. You're just, you're just like somebody just gonna clone you, you know. They're gonna do whatever mm-hmm. you like. The puppet. Right, oh. so it's like you know what I'm gonna call you as Nikki because it's, it's you know girls the back then, yeah. you know they they already always got that K pop vibe. Is too short. They need a longer Nikki. It's just it's just to soften it, you know. It's just like right. for yeah. you to get it to that your feminine side. It's like right. Nikki, it was like, you know. So right. everything yeah, is yeah, okay. Green, I get it. I get it. Right. Green, right. right. It was like the thing yeah. I remember. It was like because my brain was thinking, it's like maybe they didn't want to get in trouble with like Nickelodeon. But also, I remember like when I would no, no. Nickelodeon saw, is too like, hard for people like, to understand. No, I'm just saying like Nick Nickelodeon is something that Thai people couldn't, couldn't pronounce back in the day. It's oh, Nicky, it's probably something like that. <laughs> so it's not even that. Yeah. But the other thing yeah. I remember <laughs> looking when it came to the first album of it, because I've always yeah. thought like everybody that uh, I listen to even different artists they were like different but i remember when i actually took a look back into that my brain literally thought about the late and great aaron carter i'm like why am i seeing Aaron? like why is my brain yeah. thinking about aaron carter right now when i yeah, saw yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, boy. it was yeah. weird uh, it was just like what is happening and it's like i off like i often you know the thing why i even listen to different stuff is because i'm like this stuff can be different, but then it's like the other part. It's like, no, nah, we got the American influence too. You can't escape it, yeah. no matter. But but to be honest, Aaron Carter is way younger than me, and he came at that time, with yeah. an album right after me. So either either they name? duplicate us uh, or the we the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> yeah, Backstreet Boys. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, um, I think it was just that cutie pop corny kind of yeah. vibe yeah. that you want to. Just to capture that young audience and stuff like that, I guess you know, so, like yeah. it was that but, era, but, you know, like but, it, it was that era. Also, my my first music video was really, you know, with the crab dance. Yeah, it was yeah. Really there's two versions. I didn't of like that. it, I didn't like it too much, but you know, they they said it was catchy and right, easy yeah. for people to remember. So you know, right. yeah. Yeah. I never yeah. like. Yeah. I've often thought of you guys like having swag though. Like I never thought of like like when I look at it, it's like. Oh, this is dope. like I'm like no, they got swag. They got something that yeah. I don't know, but it's like this is swag. Yeah. But I know, but it's oh, like, of course, oh, we put hundred like, percent on uh, all, all the things we do, you know, in right. these videos, the shows. You should see uh, Pinicky's concert before it was crazy too. With your question, mm-hmm. why is the name of the song "Love Me Love Man You"? Ghost, ghost actually, kid. that yeah, that actually that song was for Manchester United. Yeah, like the Olympic okay. theme. So I, I, I'll tell yeah. you, yeah. No, it, it was a soccer. It was like the biggest soccer Football, uh, yeah. in the world, right? In yeah. Premier. So that time when I moved back to Thailand, you know, Thailand country, they, they're crazy about soccer, right? It's their main sport, you know, like uh, yeah. it's football, right? Soccer, not like American Cup. football. Yeah. And then, yeah, yeah, and that time it was the World Cup. And then um, the ghost kid, I mean, Dek P, Dek P, the ghost kid, that logo is actually stand for Manchester United. Oh, you know, okay. The Red Devil. You see, the Red see, Devil. Yeah, you see, oh, what have you seen the logo? Yeah. You've seen that the logo? Uh, it's, like, mm. it's like the devil <laughs> with the fork. Oh, my. Yeah. Actually, actually, the, 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 the devil with the fork is this little kid, right? It's like a ghost kid. That's why. Oh, okay. That's why. And then, and then behind that album, because everybody in the, in the company, you know, Nikki was the real ghost kid, I mean, the menace. I yeah. didn't know shit about soccer, but my attitude, I was, I was a gangster, right? So yeah. behind the, behind the, behind the closed door, behind anything that people see on TV, I yeah. was, you know, like fucking, I, 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 oh, I, wow. swag yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, so they're just like, you know what, let's just go. So you got the soccer fans also. Awesome. And then, <laughs> and then, and then, and then yeah, and then, and then they just, uh, cloned me with the, with the soccer song because oh, I was sick that time. But I didn't know shit about soccer. I didn't know nothing about so I just come on, man. I grew up with 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 with, with basketball and, and football. Yeah, like, what? Some, some American, you know. Oh, I don't even do PE. What's man? You. 
PE, right. I don't even do PE. I get in school in, in America. I don't even run for PE. You know what I'm talking about? It's like, how the fuck am I getting to a sport? I'm just a kid. Like, you know. <laughs> we'll, we'll spot you. No, I don't know. I don't, yeah. <laughs> so, so I had a I had a song, but it, it would sound cool because it was only rap. That nine song. millimeter. It sounded yeah, like rap. It did. It did. It did. Yeah. That, it, it, that one was a rap. That, that was that. that, that, that. <laughs> yeah, that one. That one was a rap, actually. You know. Yeah, but, but yeah, rap, yeah. You were rapping. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The the other one was pop because that time Thailand they didn't know shit about rapping. They're like. No, you know what? We we're not gonna let you go with talking song for the whole full album. I'm just like, no, you don't understand, okay? So right. so only and, one and, and song and that they start to yeah. sing. Yeah. Like, yeah, wait a minute, yeah, yeah. you got a good singing so, voice, but you know that's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that first yeah. song, it was the only song that rap came out. That yeah, time, but, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. At that time, I was like the first generation of hip hop in Thailand because when that yeah. song came out, everybody was like, yo. This is this is it's what new, it's people crazy. Started. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to show Thailand, you know, like and what's but, but, rap anyway, about the hip hop? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're fifty but, years this year. We're fifty years in. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, wow. in Thailand, in Thailand, right now, I'm still considered like the first generation of hip hop yeah. in Thailand yeah. because yeah. right after that, I continue come out with a lot of rap album. And yeah. So 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 yeah. So I was uh. Consider like the first generation of hip hop, you know, like right. uh, in Thailand, there was um, uh, there, there was Joey Boy, there's Titanium, yeah. that that is that Jim, and that's me. Yeah. So that's yeah. like yeah, we we all in the same age Beast, around. You know, that, you know. Yeah. And then there's yeah. there's more on the but definitely yeah, but uh, I, Mickey's song Playboy yeah. was a hit. Yeah. Mm, yeah. But I but I I I wasn't consider like the go go. Because right. you know, like those guys, they just focus on only song and album. But I was the vote for like being menace and all this fucking. Too much party for that wasn't yeah, yeah, because, yeah, because I, I get I, I I do I do a mixture of stuff. You know what? You know, I was born in a wrong time. I was considered. You know, you know, if 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 in this time right now, right. I am considered a YouTuber. Oh my! You you would be. Yeah. You know. Insane. I was. I was I was the first generation YouTuber. I do everything. I fucking pretty much sing. like vlogging back in the day. Act. I could see it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But but back in the day when somebody do something, they're doing one thing. You know, like singing, acting. Right. But me, I was the first guy who does every fucking everything. thing in entertainment. Yeah. yeah, my my fo- my focus just to get money. So I didn't give a fuck. You know, I don't have any. I don't have any like inspiration. I don't yeah. want to be something like I don't want to be a singer. I don't want to. I just want to fucking get the money and get time, get some pussy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> wow. That time was the main like motive. You know? But we but go. but, so, but I, yeah. Speaking of that, of the that motto, time, the motto. So, yeah. Now oh, I don't yeah. even have to ask how the other name came because we established yeah. how. Yeah. But it's like I was yeah. wondering from. All three of your albums for the underground one, the yeah, first yeah, one, yeah. and the classical yeah. masterpiece. Yeah, which one yeah. would be your favorite of all time? Like the I'm masterpiece, of course, man. The masterpiece. The masterpiece. The masterpiece. The masterpiece. Just you know, like um, all the mu- music video that I did with Grammys. The the yeah. one I, I will send it to you, man. I'll send it to you. Thank you. Go, yeah, go, that go that'd now. be. Very not even to share like on the screen and stuff for a bit. Yeah, yeah. it's fine. You can share on the screen. You can do what the fuck you want with it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know cop cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. So oh, I guess right, gotta, like uh, our yeah. our very thank you, uh, uh, Pinicky, for his time. Oh wait, um, wait. <laughs> yeah. Telling us crazy stories. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. There's one more question though. There's one more, yeah, one yeah. more, one yeah. last one. So. Uh, I'm wondering, how are you doing today, Nikki? Like, are you, like oh, how's every right. like you got a workout program and stuff like that? Yeah, Can yeah. You well, you know, um, um, like I said, you know, now I'm I'm where I want it. You know, mm-hmm. I am like, of course, the whole Thailand they know me. I don't care about fame. Yeah, but it's just, it's just something that you can't escape because you know, yeah. I'm in the business for like three decades already. You know, right, but. Right. But now I'm building my empire. You know, I have a I have a company which is slash a, a 
factory. I'm doing a lot of supplement right now under my brand because, you know, nowadays, when kids see somebody that they look yeah. up to, they don't care. There's no such thing as the, like, uh, in, a, now a they're looking, model, they're looking up to you like a role model, like a YouTuber or yeah, yeah. something that's uh, yeah, you know, rich, sure. like Elon Musk, Elon Musk, something like that. Oh, know? my God. Kid, kid, they're looking up to you as like, the, like, you know, if you're success, right? And then, yeah, so, yeah. And, and that's what I carry, you know, I carry like, I, I carry a business now and then um, yeah. I, everything that came out of the market now, online, offline, is under my brand. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm having my uh, established brand as PIMP, P-I-M-P-Z, but yeah. with a Z on it, so it doesn't sound like a PIMP, like a fucking gigolo, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I know. So, so, so all my brand right now is growing. And I, I recruit a lot of you know like a new young buck like um yeah, yeah. like just like and like you know, like, uh, like like yeah, gigolos yeah. you know gigolos right yeah. now I'm recruiting all oh, gigolos okay, okay, you know, right, like right. all gigolos like you know like, a, like fitness, no, just, fitness, just, no just gigolos so that, no Jiggles, no just gigolos bro gigolos like like yeah. like real pimps that they work in the club getting money from girls I get all those guys to come and represent all my product you know just right. to expand into that group. And then um, I I just I have a baby, you know. I have a kid. My daughter yeah. is turning three. You know, my wife is great. She let me do what you know, like let she let me be me. You know, let me be creative. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know. So so I mean, you know, she understand the pimp. You know, pimp gotta do what pimp do. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm just <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just I'm just grinding. Yeah. I'm just grinding every day, for and sure, you know, yeah. for me, for me, for me, for just you know, just being just being <clears> the <throat> being for humble. Real. Being humbles, like being you know, humble. being being humbles, and you know, like just like just being like just being real, bro. Just don't give yeah, a fuck, you course. know, like yeah, don't yeah. give a fuck about what no. I carry or what I do. Now, now I, I'm into that, uh, you know, like that uh, manifest about the, you know, I'm I'm all about frequency, man. You know, like yeah. working, you know, I'm just doing my meditation, working out, you know, yeah. I'm preparing, bro, preparing. I'm just preparing. I. When I say when I say I leave everything to God, I don't just fucking say it like those right, guys just want to act cool, like you know. When I say I'm preparing, that means that fucking you know I don't know when I'm gonna die, but eventually everybody die. You know what I'm saying? So so I'm preparing not to go to hell. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm just yeah. like you know, and I'm, I'm preparing things. for my I'm just... preparing for my my daughter to to become the next entrepreneur. You know because I grew uh -huh. up I grew up, you know, I grew up poor, you know, I grew up poor right. and I got lucky, right? Generational and when I wealth. Got lucky, yeah, and when I got my money, I'm the first generation, man, for, for my me, you know, don't, 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 don't consider my cousin, that, because that, that, that ain't your money, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but I'm the yeah. first, you know, I'm the first generation for my, for my, for my shit, you know, that's why I, yeah. I, I changed my last name, you know, from the family sir last name to a Pims, because, because when I used to have my last name Pim, P-I-M-P, Everybody is like, man, you're like gray, man. You're getting money, but you you are making a bad name for your family. You know? So I'm just like, fuck this shit. Then I'm gonna get my last name and have my own right. family. You know? okay. So my family. So, came, so so I I did I I went to the right government. There. I, I went, I went, I went, right, right. I went to the government, the courthouse, yeah. and I was just like, man, change my fucking last name to Pimp, and everybody know my last name. <laughs> so now I'm um, in my in my social security ID card is Nikki Pimp. My wife is Dana Pimp. My, my daughter yeah. is Lucy yeah, Pimp. Yeah, bro, Pimp. Yeah, and now we have all <laughs> the Pimp's brand coming out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pimps. We we sell we're selling through online. I believe in online. I think online is growing. It's like fuck, fuck the TV. I'm also you know, designing the radio. a few pieces for yeah. Nikki also. Yeah, right. So, so yeah, man. You know, like um, uh, I did. I, I, yeah, I, I, I represent L, him for him L, too, like, well, yeah. You know? yeah. So, uh, anyways, man. You know, you know what? When if you ask me what I want to be. I'm I'm getting ready to be an AI man. I think like an AI now. No, I fuck you. for me for me I'm 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 into that level, yeah. bro. I don't I don't I I don't want to be human no more. I'm fucking like I <laughs> yeah. I mean I'm on I'm on online. I'm ready to be we AI. Insert that chip you know? in our brain. Oh, <laughs> insert that chip. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah that's that's that, 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 yeah, that's 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 my that's that's what I do. And, and what what I tell you is I'm very really serious. You know, right now I'm like I. 
Uh, yeah, man. I just focus on online. You just do whatever that that online yeah. like the uh, uh, algorithm go. You know, yeah. The algorithm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me wow. I help you. Wow. Well, thank you guys so much for this interview. Thank you guys so much for your time. And as for now, I guess we gotta say our farewell. So goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for the day. Bye, guys. Thank you. I hope you all enjoyed the 33rd episode special with Nikki Pimps and Howard. So our special guest, it goes to Elisa Katharina Plum Bob Music by Jay Sims Walter Oil and Canon 214. Like usual, another episode is coming up. Please support my main along with my promotional channel. And with that, I'll be seeing you all later.